All right. So in this session, we'll see how we can use conditional formatting. First, let's understand what is this conditional formatting. Conditional formatting means formatting the data by conditions. Let's create one table. I'll take this table and then we'll take state and sales. Just increase and let's go here. We'll format. We'll just increase the font size. Just make it as 20. And the data also will increase. Right. Okay. Now I need to format this data depending on the values. Let's sort this by sales. Okay. So in Excel, we have this conditional formatting. So what we do is we'll go, we'll say conditional formatting and we'll specify the values and the formatting is done. But how to format the data in Power BI? When I'm selecting this table, if you go to this format pan, we are in this fields. We have this fields that is state and sales what we have taken. We have a small arrow here. If you just click on this, here we get this conditional formatting. We have various ways of formatting here. When I go and select this conditional formatting, you can see that we have this background color, font color, data bars, icons, and web URL. First, let's see how we can use this background color and then font color, and then we'll go with other options what we have. First, let's select this background color. When I click on this background color, we'll get one window here where we can format the cells based on conditions. It is very simple. It is exactly like what we have in our Excel. If you can see here, here it says format by and apply to. Just click here. Here we can see color scale, rules, field value. First, we'll work on this color scales and then we'll see this rules. Color scale means we have the minimum value to the maximum value. That is the lowest value and the highest value. So we can choose the colors here. The lowest value in this column will have a very light color and then we can have a very dark color like this. This is by default. We can change the colors here. If you see here, we have this based on fields. It last on which field we need to format. So based on which field. Now here I have taken the sum of sales because the value what I have here is the aggregated values. If you go here, it says sum of sales. We can change these values, the fields that we'll do later. So as of now, we'll say sum of sales. It lasts for summarization. Let's take this sum because the value what I have here is sum. Right, so lowest value, the highest value, you have taken this color. I'll not change anything here as of now. We'll just say, okay, with all the default values, what we have, the default colors, what we have. If we say, okay, you can see that the column gets formatted exactly like what we use the conditional formatting. Let's click on this arrow again. Here we have this conditional formatting. Let's click on this background color again. Here we have an option diverging. I have this lowest value, highest value. If I say diverging in middle, I have one more value which comes where it says middle value where it gets one more color here. That is the gradient colors with this three colors mixture. Say okay, now you can see I'll have the very light color slowly. It will increase to this yellow color and then again it will mix with the blue color. This is by default. Suppose if you think that I want to change the value, I can go here. Conditional formatting background color. Here we can specify the value. That is, I can customize it. Let's click on this. I'll say custom. Here also we can give custom and go here. We'll say custom. Let's remove this diverging. We'll just take this to maximum and minimum values. That will be easy for you to understand. Let's give the custom value that is minimum value as 25,000. And maximum value will say one lakh. Let the color be as is. Later on, we'll change that as well. Say okay. 
you can see that the mixture of colors will start from 25,000 here like this. From 25,000, it will start like this. It goes on. Previously, if you go here and observe, let's go here and say background color, which was lowest value. Let's say lowest value, and here I'll say highest value. We just observe when I say okay, you can see that the colors actually are getting mixed somewhere here after this 170,000 somewhere. But I'm trying to change the mixing of the gradient colors. So for that, I can start from 25,000 or any color you want. Let's go here. I'll say custom. Let's give only for lowest value. I'll say start from 25,000 and say okay. You can just see here. We'll give the highest color as well. Sorry. Say custom. Let's say we'll start this from 50,000 only. Let's make it lowest value. Say okay. See can see that the dark colors is starting from 50,000 here like this. So you can give the specific value as well to make it mixture of colors. Otherwise, you can leave it highest or lowest values as well. You can change the colors as well here. I'll go to this background color. And here, I will change this color. Let's say the lowest color will make it as something red color. If you have this palette, you can select the colors in this palette otherwise if you want more colors just click on this more colors let's say the lowest value i want it red color and highest value let's make it as green color you can just select here you can say green color like this any color you want you can just choose just for this condition formatting purpose i'm just choosing this say okay you can see that red color and it is mixing with green color this is the background color Go here, say background color that is formatting by color scale. Suppose if you think that I want to apply a rule, what this rule will do is this is like specific value I'm trying to format based on specific values. Let all the selections be as is, but you can see that the color what we mentioned in the condition will change here. It says if the value is greater than or equals to and less than some value since i have the values here i'll say number instead of percent i say if the value is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to let's make it as twenty five thousand. i want this to be this blue color or if you want you can change this let's say i'll make it red color i want to add one more rule here i'll just click on this there is one more rule which get added will mention is greater than or equals to 25,000. Let's make it number is less than, let's say, 1 lakh. Then it should be yellow color. One more rule will apply. We'll say if the value is greater than 1 lakh, change it to number and we'll give some number here. and we'll make it green color you can see that i'm not getting errors here suppose if i change this to percent you just see we'll get some i mark here something like this is nothing but this is saying that the condition what you're given the rule what you're giving is not proper it will say please check the logic of this rule let's go here i'll change this to number but just observe i'll just change this to thousand if the a range is not matching also we will get this message here so if i get this i that is like information so what to do is just go and check the condition here whether i'm giving it properly all right you can see that if the conditions are proper i'll not get that mark so you should be careful while giving the conditions here if you get any information that is i mark there then go and check in that rule there is something wrong correct it and say okay if you see this I'm getting specific colors here getting modified like this. All right, so we understood how we can use this condition formatting for background. Let's go here, say background, that is for color scale and rules. There is something called as field value. We'll come to this in the end because we have to create one field value or say we can take some field value and then we can format it. 
All right. Now, if you think that you want to remove the condition formatting applied, here we have this remove condition formatting. It will mention all the condition formatting which we have applied. So in this case, I've applied only background color. I'll click on this background color. All the condition formatting applied in that column will be removed. Now let's go to this. Here we have this condition formatting. We have font color. When I click on this font color, I'll have exactly the same formatting options what we had for background color. Background color and font color will have exactly similar options what we have. Here we have this color scale. But the colors what it changes is instead of background, it will change only the font color. You can see it says some of sales, some. So everything is same. Here also we have this diverging. And here you can change these values. You can also change the custom values and all these things. When I say okay, we just observe. You can see the font colors are getting changed. Condition formatting, font color. And we can give this custom. Let's say I want to start my values from 50,000. Say okay. You can see that the colors are getting changed from 50,000. Same options what we did for background color that is applying the rule we can apply the rules here let's quickly do the same option here i'll say red color if it is value from 0 to 25000 and we'll add new rules here i'll add two rules i'll make it as number from 25000 to 1 lakh let's make it yellow color and then from 1 lakh give some number it should be a bigger number and then i'll say green color now only the font will change let's say okay you can see that the font color is getting changed so you have to choose whether i need to format the font or the background color right let's remove this you can see now it says font color i'll say remove the font colors Apart from that, we also have something called as data bars and icons. Let's click on this data bars. The same options we have in Excel as well. So data bars, what it will do is depending on this value, this will give something like a chart. What we have this column chart or bar chart, some bars will be available here. We can choose show bar only if you don't want to show the numbers. As of now, we'll just uncheck this. We'll see the chart and then we can come back and we can uncheck this. Here also we have this lowest value, highest value. You can change this as well. You can customize this. Here I have this positive bar and negative bar. You can change the color. Suppose if you think that I want to change the color or something orange. The bar direction you can say right to left or left to right. Let's keep it by default like this and say OK. You can see I'm getting this chart with the color what I've mentioned. But suppose if you want this to be the other direction that is right to left we can change that i don't want to show the numbers we can do that let's go here and we'll try that say condition formatting data bars and here we'll say right to left i don't want to show the numbers i just want only the bars say okay you can see that i'm getting only the bars you can change the direction as well if you don't want to show the numbers you can use something like this this is data bars that is based on the conditions here based on the values i can create some condition formatting like this let's go and clear this now next is about icons icons are similar to our icon sets what we have in excel here we're trying to apply the rule you can see that i have these rules same options what we did in the previous example but here instead of colors we'll get this icon sets here like this Click here, we'll get so many different icon sets depending on the number of rules what I'm applying here. Assume that I'm applying only three rules here. So you can choose any of these icons. Let me select this, the traffic lights, what you see here. We have the sum of sales because here we have the aggregated values of summarizing the data by sum. And here we have this left of the data or right of the data or only icons. If you think that I want only icons, let's select this only icons. Here I'll not have the numbers, only the icons will be there. 
let's specify the rule give you the exact value what we mentioned so here also we will have this rule suppose if you are giving the rule and if there is something wrong in that particular rule again here also we'll get that i mark here that is information we can just move the cursor and you can see that that will give me the information then we can correct it say if the value is 0 to 25000 then i want this red icon if the value is from 25000 to 1 lakh i'll say it should be yellow icon from 1 lakh till say i am just giving some number here which is greater than the value what we have here which should be green icon say okay you can see that i'm getting this icon like this only icons if you want numbers you can specify that as icon with number you can get that numbers as well let's say icons here it says top you can make it as middle bottom whichever you know where you want you can just select here like this so middle in the sense it will it will align to the middle of this not center it's aligning to the middle of this you can align the center you can code this formatting and here we can align to center as well all right so this is about the icon sets and what we are doing now is for the columns of sales all right let's go here i have one more option that is web url we'll work on this later with the another data set so here we had these numbers so we could easily give the range and i could format it let's remove this formatting i'll just remove this formatting all right now what if i want to do the formatting for this text columns here we don't have numbers to specify some conditions let's go to this state here i have the condition formatting same options will be there here but we will not have data bars data bars are not there because data bars are actually created based on the numbers but still how to format this let's say we'll go here we'll take some examples say background color i want to change the background color here for text column also we'll get the same kind of window here with all the same options but how will i actually format this here this based on field comes into picture i'll show you how here also we have this color scale rules but here it says based on field since this is a text column here it says count of state depending on the counts the condition formatting will apply but what we'll do is we'll go here we'll try to take a specific column i want to highlight this based on sales column i'm selecting the sales column here we have the sum of sales so i'll take this as sum you want you can take this average as well but let's take it as sum only because we can match with this column i'll just go with the default value what we have or if you think that you want to change this to custom you can change this to custom anything you want you can do let's say i'll make it as 50000 same options what we just saw for the number columns for text column also we can have that i'll say okay you can see that we are getting the conditional formatting on this column that is text column let's go here conditional formatting remove conditional formatting same thing applies to font as well here if you go here and say font it's the same option if you just click on this you can see that i'll get for font also same option so you can apply the rules as well here similarly what we did for this column so you can apply the same rules here and you can apply the condition for text column as well icon sets again let's go here conditional formatting if i say icon again it depends on the columns here say i'll go here you want i can take this sales if you think that i want to go with the count of uh, say states you can go with the count because here i cannot use sum for the text column i can only use count but here if you want to have this sum depending on this sales then i can use this right let's go here and we'll have this condition formatting background color will apply to both the columns and see how they actually look at least this rules so here what we'll do is we'll go here and we'll take this 
condition formatting sales and we'll apply three rules here and make it as number say 0 to 25,000 then 25,000 to 1 lakh and from 1 lakh to 10 lakhs we'll change the color that is red yellow and green this is for this state you can see that background color for state if you want the same thing to apply for this you have to go here and apply condition formatting then i'll say rules we'll take three rules we already have the sum of sales by default convert this into numbers change this to numbers and then i'll say zero to twenty five thousand same condition you have to give if you want the entire row to be shared at say twenty five thousand here we'll say one lakh then from one lakh to ten lakhs i'm giving this ten lakhs the reason is it should have the highest number here so change the color here to red yellow and say okay now if you see i'm getting this entire row shared with these colors so likewise i can use this condition formatting that is directly i can give the condition formatting here we have one more option that is web url we'll work on this later because we'll take one data set which has got web url and then we can work on that right this is one way of using this conditional formatting but while working on this conditional formatting we saw an option called as field value so what is this field value let's see what we'll do is we'll create one measure measure in the sense some function which will get me the total sales that is sum of sales so how to create a measure let's select this table here we have this measure and then we'll say the measure total sales equals sum of sales close bracket i just created one measure now what we'll do is we'll create one column for conditional format how we'll go here we'll create one more measure and we'll call it as conditional form you could have directly done here also just because you should not get confused i just give this total sales of suppose if you think that you want to directly take that total sum here in this uh, measure what we're creating that also is possible i'll say conditional formatting uh, just key one short name say condition for like this equals if see here i can directly take this sum of sales like this or i've already created one total sales as measure you can take that also so why we should create this measure already is suppose if you think that this total sales is used for any other calculation you can create one measure and you can keep it otherwise if you think that i'm just using only once then you can use this as sum of sales as well so since we have already created this measure i'll say total sales is greater than i'm writing one formula here if the total sales is greater than one lakh say one lakh then I want this to be green. I'm just giving some color here, comma. Again, we'll put this one more condition here. If total sales is greater than say 25,000, then I want this to be, let's say blue color. Else, we'll say red color. Close the bracket. What I did now is, I've used this total sales if it is greater than one like it should be green color if the total sales is greater than 25,000 it should be blue color 
otherwise it should be red color that means the range from 0 to 25000 will be red color the range from 25001 till this 1 lakh say 1 less than 1 lakh or say 1 lakh it will be blue color otherwise it will be green color anything above 1 lakh will be green color i'll say enter i created one measure here for condition formatting but how will this help let's see i'll go to this reporting i will just go here let's remove the condition formatting here so that we'll not get confused say remove all here we'll say remove condition formatting remove all okay i'll create one map also let's create one map i'll take the same state and sales you can see that i have one state uh, the map with states and sales value in it i want to apply the condition formatting for these values what we'll do is first let's select this table go to this format we just scroll down go to this values click on this values here we can see so many colors here means font color and things like that but here we don't have anything to apply the condition format right but same thing let's go here to this state uh, the map what we created here we have something called as data colors click on this here we have this fx i just showed this example here if i go to this table and if you go to this values here also we can change the color but i'm not getting that fx that is we don't have any option to change this color to this conditional formatting why because here we already have an option of applying the condition formatting here here if you go here i have this conditional format but if you select this one the map here if you go see the sales here you cannot see that conditional format but where to apply this condition formatting for maps for that i'll go to this format and then i'll say data colors and say function click on this function if you click on this fx here we'll get one window of conditional formatting so, see i got one window like this now previously we were actually applying color scale or rules here also we can apply that same thing like what we have but what i'll do is i'll go to this field value if you click on this field value we had already created one function that is one measure click here and here let's go and select this condition formatting which you have already created click on this and say okay you can see that automatically i'll get the colors applied to these icons what we see at the symbols what we have that is for the sales depending on the values still further if you want to do something more interesting let's go to this here we have this card let me click on this card card is nothing but it will give me the summarized values i'll take this sales you can see that i'm getting the sales let me just go oh, and i'll just resize this and we'll format this data label i will change the colors by using this condition formatting but before that we'll change the font size i'll make it as 60 and i'll change the font style to arial black All right now we have this color let's click on this fx like what we got that window here i'll select this find value here i'll select this condition formatting what i created say okay you can just see that it becomes a green color because the value is above one lakh all right now let's see more options just minimize this here it says category that is this sales i'll just remove that i don't want that if you want, you can give the title. Let's say I'll give it as total sales. For this font also, we can give the colors. 
if you see that i'm getting this total sales let's select and if you think that i want to get or let's keep it as white color and here i have this background color for background color we'll apply this field value say conditional format you can see that i'm getting this top the background color of the title as green color let's go here i'll increase the font size to five and change this to Arial black align this center. See, I'm getting something like this. All right, still further, if you think that you want to make more formatting, I'm just telling you some formatting skills. That's all I have. This background. Go here, select this background as well. Anywhere you can use these colors now. Field value, I'll say condition formatting. Say okay. See, now what we'll do, we'll just make it transparent like this. You can see that i'm getting this green color with the value background i've just made it as transparent and this have this title with green color so what is the use of this let's go and check i'll click on any of the values which is less than twenty five thousand. let's say this alabama nineteen thousand. just observe when i click on this see this becomes a red color automatically and you can see that i'm getting only alabama here which is red color anything about 25000 should be blue color let's click on this 27000 delaware see anything about 1 lakh will become green color you can see that so likewise i can make the condition formatting dynamic so for this i have to create one measure that is based on the values whatever i'm taking here say it can be total sales or even if you want you can make it as average or anything whatever you think that you want to calculate you can do this so this will actually give us a very nice dynamic conditional format all right now you are talking about this uh, url conditional formatting url so what we'll do is let's take one data set which has got the url for this we need to have the url let me just show you how the data should be let's say I'll just check the data if we have url then only you can give that conditional format you can see that there is one column here some data so here we have this url so i should have some url here to open that particular uh, say url when i click on that data so we'll just try to import this data and then we can apply let's go here to power bi and we get data Excellent. Open. I'll just take this data and the location. Just two tables enough. Let's check the column headers, which is proper. Yes, they are proper. Yes. Let's say load. That is getting loaded. All right, let's go to another page. Here we have this location. Let's take this state and we'll convert this into table. And then we'll take the sales value from data table. We'll increase the font size quickly. Column headers, let's make it as 20. And then the values also will make it as 20. Okay. Now we have seen the conditional formatting by applying the colors for background or font colors or whatever. Now, what we are trying to do is we are trying to apply the link for these names here. Let's select this table and select the conditional formatting here. Let's click on this web URL. When I click on this web URL, it will ask for the URL field. Here we have this field value. See, I'll get only field value because you have to select that field value. 
but make sure that you have that value that is the url field in location i have this web url here it says first so this first is nothing but the first record suppose i have this alabama repeated 10 times it will take the first occurrence of that particular web url in the records say so first if you want that last you can take it last but here the data what we have here is for alabama i have all the alabama data with the same url so here first or last doesn't make any difference say okay the click on okay the url which we had mentioned there will be applied for this now let's click on this you can see that the url will get opened here so we can apply the url also by using this condition formatting click on any of this say can size i'll just click i'll get the website opened here depending on the url what you have specified so likewise i can apply the condition formatting either by a field value or depending on the columns depending on the numbers or depending on the text columns as well so this is conditional formatting.